So adding in dynamics. First of all, how do you do it? So you click where you'd like to add a dynamic. Um, I'm adding one in, in here at the start of the gem bay. And then you press Control E on your computer keyboard and then the right mouse button and a very large menu comes up and we're looking um, just uh, to start with it using these dynamics here ignore the rest of this menu P soft MP medium soft MF medium loud and F loud I'm going to start piano or soft then the other type of dynamics you can add in are what are called hairpin crescendos which look like this what I did to create that was I pressed the letter H on my keyboard followed by spacebar which made it grow and that gets gradually louder as it um, continues and then at this point I'm then going to add in another actual dynamic level so I'm going to again press Control E right mouse button and I'm going to go F for forte and then to add in one of these but the other way round it's shift H and then spacebar makes it grow there we go now where do we put dynamics well first of all you should always start the piece with a dynamic level for each instrument so at the moment we've got all these dynamic instructions in here they only apply to the djembe so if you want the woodblock to have some dynamic markings and you certainly should you need to add them in to the woodblock just like I did before exactly the same way um, I've got quite quick at doing this now so I can add them nice and quickly take you a little bit longer as you're learning and um, the woodblock dynamics mirror the djembe dynamics. It's unusual to have different dynamic markings in, in different parts, unless you want one part to be particularly more prominent than another. So that's where you should put them. Maybe adding in a new dynamic every line, or maybe every... Well, I, I, I've, I've added in one every, like, two bars here. But maybe you, you that, that's as frequent as you'd want to put them in. I wouldn't do more than I've done here. Why do we add them in? We add them in because they create more expression to the way the music is played. So it means that uh, you get different ideas that can be more prominent because you think they're more important, so you want them louder. You might want a loud ending or you might want something more subtle, so you make it softer. So they add expressiveness to the music and that's um, why we use them.